This is my body given for you. This is my blood shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. These may be the most profound words ever spoken. These are the words of life and forgiveness, of strength and sustenance. The Catechism says, He is truly and well prepared to receive the Lord's Supper, who has faith in these words, given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Worthy. Of what are you worthy? That word might be really hard to hear sometimes. Am I truly worthy? Worthy of my vocation, worthy of my beloved, worthy of my scholarships, worthy of my God. There's Satan again, trying to distract you from the pure gospel spoken by Jesus to you. God himself has given you faith, given it in his word and your baptism. He reminds you of that faith when you confess your sins and are forgiven of them, and he strengthens that faith in his Holy Supper. All of these gifts are God your Father pouring out his love to you. Who are you? The beloved of God. Whatever path your life takes, never forget that. Your Lord and your God has specifically called you by name to be his child. He has forgiven you. He washed you. He strengthens you for each day in this world. It isn't always easy to see, and it may be hard to imagine sometimes, but it's true. And that's why the words of institution from the Lord's Supper are so important. No matter how you feel about what life has thrown at you, no matter how uncertain you are about who you are in this world, no matter how hard it might be to love those around you, your Lord and your God's love for you never falters. Every week, he's upon the altar, ready to give you again his body, his blood for you, for the forgiveness of your sins, for the strengthening of your faith. Where there is the forgiveness of sins, there is also life and salvation. Life and salvation, two eternal gifts that hold you up in this life. Two gifts that remind you of the eternity that God has prepared for you. Gifts that enable you to see, through the eyes of faith, what he has in store for all who believe. You are God's child. He has gifted you to love him and to love your neighbors. It isn't always easy. That's true but he always gives you the faith you need to carry out your Christian vocation. And there is no purer way to receive that strength than by the very body and blood of Christ nourishing you in the Lord's Supper on a regular basis. Wherever you go, whatever you do, the risen Christ is always ready to give you his gifts to face this world and all of its challenges. Thanks be to God for his mercy.